Police have now said Robert Card recently reported mental health issues. Those issues including hearing voices and threats to shoot up a National Guard base in Saco, Maine. Card was reported to be committed to a mental health facility for two weeks this summer, then released. Our Jordan James reports on the mental health aspect of this whole case. 24 hours after a gunman opened fire in Maine. This city did not deserve this terrible assault. Killing at least 18 people and wounding dozens of others, sparking a nationwide manhunt for Robert Carr. We're committed to bringing, the, uh, you know, whoever's responsible this to justice. In the months leading up to the attack, Card was reportedly checked into a mental health facility after complaining of voices and making threats, leaving many to question why he was released only after two weeks. So really, it's less about the amount of time. It's really trying to um, meet certain um, goals and objectives. Dr. Aaron Brennan is a psychiatry professor at Vanderbilt University Medical Center and says there are multiple indicators to determine when a person is dealing with a mental illness. So many mental disorders are about us being uncomfortable around other people and afraid of other people. So those people are more likely to withdraw from those around us, isolate, um, and their life gets smaller and smaller. As the investigation continues into Card's mental health, Dr. Brennan believes it's important to have all the facts before diagnosing him. There are many factors that led to a person having access to a firearm where they could harm somebody in this way. And mental illness might not be the most pressing driving piece, but it's so easy for us to pin it on individuals who, who are struggling and working their hardest. Reporting here in Nashville, Jordan James, WSMB4.